Something around there, I'm guessing. Let's see how close we are. That is almost right on. <laughs> now, the cut. out of the ground. Let's do some sharpening. Hickory, not height wise, that's the problem. Got to take about an eighteenth off. another 20 shavings. Another 20 shavings and we should be close. Almost. Not quite. A little more. Ta-da! Inch and quarter. Doesn't matter that much. at the top of this here and here Stay away from the line. really tight and it is really really tight I don't want it really tight so we're gonna trim it up just a little bit that's what I want right there one So there's one, which is my own interpretation of the Rubo design. I kind of like it, but one does not a set make. I need four of them and ain't nobody got time for that. So um, you can actually buy them. And uh, this I kind of like, they, uh, it's the exact same thing, made out of aluminum and they work really well. How long are these? So they are 
um, something. Oh, my tape is rubbing off. That's the center of the board right there. So mark, square, mark. Let's see how tight is the brass. That's the important part. See, that's what I'm looking for. Should be a nice tight fit and it is one so if they go in a little easier that in that in and And glue my hand to it. Ow. Hickory. It's just not quite as pretty as white oak. I mean, it's okay. Just not amazing. And of course, Wood by Right Pace Facts. Available at woodbywright.com. So the problem with traditional winding sticks is they can tip. If something is sitting on the bench or if the board is bowed out, then it's kind of hard to make them straight. But with the Robo sticks, I can actually put them on there and if there is a high spot in the middle, it doesn't matter because I'm actually testing this spot and this spot against that spot and that spot. So if you have a bow board, uh, you can kind of work around that. So there are special benefits. There are times when you want to use a straight stick and so it's nice to be able to take these out and use them that way. Uh, but you can do them this way and you can see a lot of other things. Also, I wanted to make longer ones. These ones are great and they tell you for most boards, but if you have a wide bench and you want to exaggerate the amount that it's out, you need something that's longer. The other nice part about the stands is that I don't have to really worry where the center of this board is. As long as this dot is in between those two, then I know the center of gravity is going to be between them. So I could actually have the boards out like this and still get the same reading because it's going to be balancing on those two points. As long as that dot is between these two, they actually work really well to set up whatever I need. There you have it. Winding sticks and Rubo style. I, I, I was actually planning on making these and uh, doing them very similar to this. And then I saw that Tay Tools now offers these ones. They come in aluminum and wood. Uh, so I thought, eh, that'd be kind of a fun one to, to show. And I really like them. They're, they're simple, they're lightweight, and uh, they, they work really well. So you can make them yourself, you can buy them. One of the things about winding sticks is they, they're traditionally one of the first projects that anyone makes. They're a very simple project that you really can't mess up that much. And it's kind of a, a fun way to make a tool that you can use for the rest of your life. This is one of the first ones that I ever made years ago, and I still use them. I love them, they work really well, and they're great sticks to have. I just wanted something a little longer and show you something different. A lot of them actually will have a post out here on the end so that these can't slide off, but I wanna be able to put these also on these sticks, 
uh, and uh, try out different things with it. So I didn't put that post in there, but I did like having the, the center balance point. Some people also put a darker section on one set of them so that you can see the contrast as they move back and forth. Um, but I decided to make these just simple sticks, and I like that. So I hope you like it as well. If you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, I do have links to these down below. Uh, let me know those. I do read through all the comments and I answer as many of them as I can get to. Thank you. That does mean a ton. Honestly, without you guys hitting like, comment, share, subscribe, um, no one would see our videos. So thank you for that. If you'd like to help out, that is a very easy way to do it. Click the little thumbs up button and thank you. On top of that, you can take it even farther. You may notice there's a bunch of names over here. They are the patrons on Patreon and thank you. Uh, without patrons, we wouldn't be here. We are completely sponsored by you, the viewer. So if you'd like to find out about that, there's links to Patreon down below or you can click the little join button and become a member here on YouTube. We have special perks for both where you can watch behind the scenes, which a few people are doing right now, and uh, you can join us there. So thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel. I think they'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Now, if you all turn with me to the good book of Rabot to a plate number 20, figure number 27. Today, we're going to be talking about the grooving plane.